I can guarantee we have all heard or seen some pretty amazingly disgraceful knockoff products, but it may be shocking to hear just how large the amusement ride knockoff community is. And when I say large, I mean it's absolutely massive. Starting off the list, we have the iconic, absolute garbage, MCC Vacoma SLC knockoffs. We already know just how bad Vacoma SLCs are, but manufacture one by a Chinese company who has no idea what they're doing, and you get this. Not only are they more dreadful than the new Home Alone movies, but they are known for being some of the most painful rides out there. Even more so than actual SLCs. I don't know how this is accomplishable, but I guess, good job. One of the greatest Chinese ride manufacturers has to be Golden Horse, otherwise known as Jinma Rides in America. And I'm definitely not saying this just because they liked one of my tweets. Unfortunately, they have had a heavy passive knocking off rides, and that's an understatement. The Golden Horse Dive Machine is a knockoff of both B&M Dive Coasters and Intamin's Double Spine Track. They have a portion that just utilizes the stolen B&M track like that's any better. This entire model and like 30 others by them are the exact definition of, yeah, sure you can copy my homework, just change it up a bit. And they're not trying to hide how evidently stolen it was. But Jin Ride's character development was just as strong as the consistent genre changes of Coldplay. Keep at it, you CCP owned company. Formula One at Patea Park Funnyland. Um, okay. Immediate start, but hear me out. Roller coaster, no design experience, continues to design roller coaster anyways. Boom, what do you get? This absolute landfill. Not only is it a knockoff of the Intamin Reverse Freefall Coaster, but it was so poorly made that it never even operated and stood rotting until 2013. Even I, somebody who currently has no proper experience in ride design, can gladly say that the pull up and out on this ride spike was horrendous, and it takes one look for me to understand where everything crumbled to the fists of a scrapyard. Now we have what is likely the most uncomfortable to watch. Just by watching a single POV of this thing makes me shiver in pain. Star Ripper at Star Fantasy Port. This is a knockoff of a knockoff, which is a knockoff of a knockoff and on and on. This is one of the worst traverse layouts I have ever seen. It is jank as hell and slower than the building it resides in. Buildings don't move. While the ride was fully operational and did in fact open, the ride currently sits standing but not operating. It was open for 7 months and 7 too late. Finally, we have one heck of a ride. You read the video title. Actually, screw it. Lastly, we have every single one of Zhai Pao's coasters. Yeah, all of them. Zhai Pao is yet another Chinese manufacturer who can't make good rides. At the time being, every single one of their coasters is either a knockoff or steals the intellectual property of other companies. But it's okay because the laws preventing this in China just don't exist. If you want evidence the rides aren't good, look at these restraints. Ooh. Wish we had restraints this good on Vacoma SLCs. Wow, Zhaifao. Nice job. Anyways, you get it. Bad rides, bad company, but from a country with amazing food. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.